Before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and you turn on notifications and be sure to smash that like button. Hey guys, this is Yoshi Bros. One Story at Nine here. Today I'm gonna be playing the Sonic Extreme Unity 20 Stage 2020 demo. So I know if you've seen my, if you read the community post where I said I'm not gonna be playing any more stage games because my laptop can't handle them. Well, I said that after trying out Sonic GT and Sonic Arcus, which really ran like butt on my laptop. Because you know my laptop's not really. Not really made for gaming, but I'm trying to do it anyways, but, you know, let's just, uh, hop into this game. Alright, let's go. So, this demo comes with four levels, like it said on the title screen. We got Jake Gully, Crystal Frost, Red Sands, and Death Egg. So, I actually, uh, went ahead and played Jade Gully, you know, just to get a feel for the game, so... Gotta play again for the recording, though, so, you know, let's jump in. So this is really cool actually, it looks exactly like the game, and if you don't even know Sonic Extreme, its development history is very fascinating. Uh, if you haven't already, there's a bunch of videos about it on YouTube, check it out, it's very cool to watch. But, uh, something that I'm not too fond of, and, well, I mean it's not that big of a deal, but for some reason, uh, you can only move with the, uh, D-pad can't move up to the analog stick, I'm using an Xbox One controller, so, ah, uh, wow, that kind of sucks. And, uh, that's the thing about Sonic Extreme. Uh, you, I, I, if you really never watched, uh, if you never watched the, uh, oh, if you never watched the, uh, gameplay footage for this level, you're probably not gonna know what to do, but, because at first I played this, I was very confused. Did not know where to go. I don't know what that does. But yeah, I did not know where to go, but then I remembered. You gotta come down here, and then you gotta hit the switch, and just go here. And uh, yeah, I gotta say the controls are kind of slippery. Not gonna lie. And you know, playing this, I'm like, how it? Let's say Sonic Stream theoretically, it did come out when it was supposed to come out on Saturn. Would this game really save Saturn? Cause like... I'm playing it right now, it feels pretty weird to play. This level design is really weird. Uh, controls... They're kind of slippery. Like... Yeah, I, I forgot to hold forward there. So, and now I think I just gotta kill myself? Yeah. Kind of sucks, yeah. Uh, you can also spin dash, but... I mean... I'm being honest, there's really no reason to spin dash the, uh, the level design that's not really made for it. Let's uh, jump, here, jump up here, get over here. Yeah, the, the trolls are kind of slippery. Uh, yeah. But again, this is really cool. Basically playing Sonic Screen all these years later. Very cool thing to do. Uh, Hope that counts as round finish. <laughs> right, yeah, I did it. Right, so let's go to Crystal Frost. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, this game is kind of confusing. Like, uh, yeah, so. And, you know, playing it, maybe it was for the best that this game did get cancelled. And that we got Sonic Adventure instead, because this game kind of weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm. You're gonna die a lot in this, uh, in this demo. Okay. Music is good. Yeah, it's very weird. But, this recreation is really, really cool. Like, it looks basically exactly like that gameplay footage. Uh of the unreleased game. Ouch. Can't pick up my rings? Okay. Yeah, this music's kinda funky. Well. Okay, uh... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and you can also double jump, so that is good. But yeah, like, let's say this game did come out, and then, like, looking back at, if we were to look back on it, all these years later, what the heck? Uh, I don't know what happened where I am. Maybe I'm supposed to be here? She's weird. <laughs> but, what, like, what I was saying, uh, if this game did come out, and definitely looking back on it, it would not... would probably not be the, uh, best 3D transition for the blue blur. <laughs> Cause, like, the level design is very... confusing. Like... Yeah, like, <laughs> I almost died there. Like, you gotta, like, I don't know. Not a very... Like, you go from the classics to this, in the 90s, it'd be kind of weird, you know? But, if, if it did come out, you know, it was it would still be a cool attempt. But here, I'm not... Like, I, like I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Like... I have no idea... Where to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many times I could try this, because there's more levels to try, but... It's just hard, like... The controls are not the best. But, um, imagine this is what the... This is how the game played. It's still very cool. That... Uh... It's been, like, remade... Oh. Yeah, I guess you could say remade. And it looks like play... Well, I, I assume it plays like this. Just like the original. Just like Sonic when we visited, I made a video about that. Check it out, my playthrough. Okay, let's try and go over here this time. Ow. Yeah, like, there's really no sense of direction. Like, you don't really know what to do, right? Now. I'm not really sure what that did. Oh, I'm gonna try going up here again. Ah, oh, man. Playing with the D-pad is not the best experience. Right, that's what did. It gave us this little platform. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Precision platforming with these controls is not ideal at all. Jeez Louise. Yeah, level design, not the greatest. And, you know, talking more about the history about Sonic Extreme, uh... Oh my god. Okay, I did not die. But yeah, talking about the history of Sonic Extreme, uh... Originally, the game was worked on the Genesis, then it moved to the 32X, then it moved to the Sega Saturn. And then I think, uh, what ended up, like, they were working on a PC port, or version, of this game. And the problem was, when porting it to the Saturn, uh, the, the, the performance was horrible. So, yeah. And also, there was a different style, uh, that Sonic Extreme used a different engine. Than this one, well, not this, not the Unity engine, but when the game originally was being worked on, uh, it looked like this. And I remember, I'm pretty sure I heard, uh, in a video they said they first worked to the Night into Dreams engine, and then apparently they did not get permission to use it from Yuji Naka, and Yuji Naka said she was gonna quit if they continued to use the engine. And so they had to drop the engine. That was another painful blow to the development of this game. I'm, like, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm gonna quit this level. Like, she's a whiz. Right, let's try Red Sand. Let's see what this level's like. Yeah, like, 
level design is. Pretty weird, but you know, I mean, at least it still got you know the loop de loops, kind of. At least Sonic's jump is pretty high, so you could, uh, get to these places. Oh my god. This is, this is pretty hard to control. Pro gamer moves right here, guys. Pro gamer moves. Okay. Get him pro gamer and I'm trying to fail him. Not living up to that claim. But yeah, uh my god. <laughs> For sticky platforming, not the best with this game's controls. Like, oh my god. Let's see if I could get up here. Yeah, I can I could get up here. I mean it's doable, but less than desirable. I'm not really sure if these Sonic head balls can be too. Looks like I have invincibility, I see. But let's... Hopefully I can finish this level. Because the one I just did, I don't remember what it's called, the, the snowy one. Uh, it's very confusing. All the levels are kind of confusing, like... You don't really have a sense of direction. At all. Oh, okay, yeah, I finished it. That one is a lot easier than the, uh... Alright, let's, uh, go to the next level. I don't think I'm gonna attempt to finish Crystal Frost. That level's too hard, so... Let's try at Death Egg. Ooh, nice music. Alright, uh, let's try going up here. Yeah, just like I said... Like, you don't really know where you're supposed to go. Okay. It's been pretty good so far. Kinda... Getting used to the game control- the game's controls. There's a spin dash, but it's not really good to use anywhere because this game dies really easily. Wow. That was the easiest level of the game. You know what? Let me... Well, I feel like... Let me just try Crystal Frost one more time. Cause, I mean, if I could beat every other stage... I think I might be able to do this. Let me just try it one more time. And if I can't, it's gonna end the video. And you know, it's weird that it's this over here. But if you go up there, you're gonna die. So, yeah. But, out of all the stages, this is probably the worst one. You don't really know what to do. There's really no direction. And, yeah. Like, if you haven't seen the gameplay, of this game already, you probably would not have a good idea of what to do at all. Like, I did not know. Like, I did not know I'd have to come all the way over here. Like, turn the switch on. Ouch. Like, you gotta come all the way over here. Turn. Oh my god. Gotta come all the way over here. Turn that switch on. Come onto these platforms. Come up here. And then trying to do precision platforming. Like, is uh not the best idea. It's very easy to die. Yeah, I just died. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here because I, I do not want to torture myself trying to beat that level. But uh, yeah, that was uh Sonic Extreme Unity. I'm gonna have the link in the description for the game. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications. So you uh, never miss an upload. Uh, this is Yoshi Bros. 1389. I hope you had a great day. Alright. See ya.